I have been trimming my beard myself for the past two years and in this video I'm going to share with you how to trim your beard effectively. Now the first thing I want to say is that whenever I go to trim my beard I try to get it looking the worst possible. Like get it into the condition that I would never walk out into the world. So for example it is freshly shampooed without conditioner. It is brushed to within an inch of its life and what that does is it really sort of like puts my beard into the driest condition it will ever be but also by brushing it deeply with a comb you end up sort of like getting all of those flyaway hairs free and they easily kind of flow up and then you can uh, trim away those flyaway hairs now what I don't do is kind of brush up and you know create a real massive sort of splay of the beard hairs I genuinely believe that like 90% of the style of a beard is how you trim it rather than the products you you use. So I spend a lot of time making sure that my beard is trimmed up to perfection and I go through two types of trim ups. A fortnightly trim up where I go hardcore, hardcore on the lines, the uh, cheek lines, the neck line, the mustache, everything. And then I do like, you know, a daily touch up or if I'm going somewhere nice and special, I just want my beard to kind of like look a little bit extra uh, lined up and clean in the lines, then I do like a touch-up trim. I'll be talking about both of those and the tools that are important. Remember to stay to the end because I have got some proper uh, insider secrets to share with you. If this video is helpful to you, remember to give it a thumbs up and also go check out beardgrowingpro.com. That's my website where I am on a mission to answer every single beard question that you have. You will not be disappointed if you head over there. Go check it out. Trimming your beard effectively comes down to using the right tools for the sort of trim up that you are doing. Now, like I said before, I have two types of trim up. The first one is the most kind of common one that I do and it is my four fortnightly trim up. Now I'm about one week away from my trim up at the moment so some of the hairs are starting to come away from the main sort of lines of my beard. My mustache is starting to come away from the line that I trimmed in. It's starting to tickle my upper lip and you know it's maybe touching my lower lip as well so I'm starting to get into that kind of I need a trim up phase um, and uh, sort of selecting the appropriate tools is so very important. Now for a massive trim up I like to use my wall trimmers and these have a near zero I don't think it's a zero but a near zero trimming head and that means wherever you put the head it will cut now I also have got the Brio Beardscape it's, they sent it to me a while ago check out my review over here but essentially this is hasn't got like a zero a zero head on it and so unfortunately what happens is like it doesn't quite trim where I want it to trim so I don't use that one for my big trim ups I save that for the other type so using this it's really important to learn how to use each tool. Now you can see this angle here that's what I use to trim up my beard. You know I make sure that when I'm trimming I am sort of orientating that head into the direction that I want to trim. I don't often hack away unless I'm doing the bottom but I don't do this. I'm always making sure that I'm trimming in the direction of the beard and I'm lining up this with the trimming direction. It just makes for a much more efficient cut um, and I found that I've got the best lines that way. Then I get in with my scissors. Now scissors are fantastic for doing the small little trim ups. Now one thing I did in the past is I used trimmers for a big trim up, uh, sorry scissors for a big trim up and I completely effed up my beard. I was trimming at a different angle. It's very easy to change the angle based on where you're trimming and if you just trim off a little bit too much you can end up taking off far too much at a weird angle that doesn't make your beard symmetrical. So nice and big things trim up with these little things little details little flyaway hairs use scissors I also like to use scissors on my mustache where I have sort of like any areas that are changing angle uh, like, like dramatically I use scissors so I get on in nice nice trim and that will be done in about a week's time the second type of trim up that I do is just like a touch up like let's say I'm going somewhere I'm doing a wedding I'm going to uh, you know a nice little event and I need to my beard to look that little bit extra special that's when I use scissors and a little kind of electric trim and I don't rely on this all of the time but 
using these two, I can just get rid of those little flyaway hairs. And once again, I want my beard looking as sort of rough as possible, as awkward and as messy as possible, and as dry as possible. So completely freshly shampooed, brushed so that all of those hairs are free and any of the flyaways can escape. They've got a chance to escape. And then I go in and I trim up with scissors and these, but I am not looking for a big change in um, in angle or shape. I am just taking off any of the weird ones that are sort of like, sort of uh, escaping, but I don't take away some very important ones that we'll talk about in about two or three points in this video. So there we are. Make sure you understand what you're trying to achieve, whether or not it's a big trim up or a little trim up and choose the appropriate tools and use them properly. Getting an external perspective of your beard is really tricky. And the way I like to trim up the lines is by turning my head. Now, I go from as far as I can turn my head while seeing and I trim up this line. I only trim up the sort of like background to beard line. I don't trim up anything here or here. I'm always looking for the point of maximum contrast and it happens to be this line. And then I turn my beard and then I'm doing this line. Then I turn again, I'm going back and back. And that is how I end up getting a nice kind of like external perspective of my beard that I can then trim up and go around like this. Now I do that for both sides and it really helps if you have a white background. So white tiles or something behind you if you've got a dark beard and I just turn, 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 and I only trim up this little line here. I don't do any sweeping movements this way. Always that line, turn. Always that line, point of maximum contrast, turn. Always point of maximum contrast. And that is how I kind of make sure that my beard looks good no matter from what angle I'm viewing it. That's how you kind of make sure that your beard looks good from a variety of angles. Now this is a mistake that I made all of the time when I was trimming up my beard. It was a thing that I was always very confident about and then realized what damage I was doing to my beard. Now, it is the supporting hairs. Now, as my beard got longer, it can have a habit of becoming kind of see-through on the ends. And one thing I like to do a lot is trim up the supporting hairs behind. So do not trim up supporting hairs as much as you think. I've let my beard grow up and grow uh, longer, much better here than I did in the past. In the past, I would point my, my head up and then create a straight line from here to my neckline. And what it would do is when my head was down, it created a thin area just here that you could see through. And I was so confused about why it was happening. And then I was like, well, it's because I'm not allowing the supporting hairs to grow behind. That's how you get that nice, thick, dense beard. If you're wondering why your beard looks thin, go check out my other video here that talks about that exact subject. But um, yes, do not trim your supporting hairs as uh, confidently as I did because you'll end up with a thin looking beard. This is Super important if you're growing a longer beard as well. For shorter beards, it doesn't matter as much, um, but I really started to notice it as uh, my beard passed uh, just over my chin and about a couple inches off. So protect those supporting hairs if you want a thick, dense beard. And the last tip that I've got for effectively trimming your beard is mirrors. So mirrors are so very important. Now, I like to have a primary mirror where I've got in my bathroom just a, a straight flat mirror in front of me. And then I use this one to try to have a look at the sides of my beard. Now, how am I gonna do this? I wonder if I can even do that. That is the, uh, there we go. Okay, so I am looking for this angle here. You can see that I have to use a mirror to make sure that this angle isn't too steep and that there's a nice kind of just Oh, I can do it, I can do it. That there's a nice kind of shape on the side here from my ear all the way down. And so I'm not looking for a super sharp line, but I am just making sure that there are no hairs escaping that back line and that the bottom line from the side is nice and kind of even and that there's a nice kind of uh, angle here. There you are in the camera, um, but there are, uh, multiple different types of, of um, mirrors. You can wall mount them. This one's just got a simple kind of thing so I can hang it up on a hook, which I've done in the past, and I can also sort of sit it down on a surface. So this mirror is super inexpensive. I'll put a link to my favorite in the description. Um, but overall, yes, mirrors, mirrors, mirrors. 
to not only sort of give you the ability to see from the side, but also just give you the confidence that, you know, from any direction your beard is viewed, it looks smashing. So there we have it. There are all the tips about making sure your beard is trimmed effectively and all the little tips and tools that I use. Let me know in the comments what you would add to that. And also go check out beardgrowingpro.com where you've got all of your beard questions answered and I shall see you in the next video.